Welcome to Scanny TV on YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars players, His Excellency Nanado Danko Kufuado, and some other updates we need to know on this channel. Today, at the floor of Parliament, we had the President of the land. He went to submit his final State of the Nations address and he spoke on sports. What did he say on Black Stars? Rebuilding it again. He also spoke about Ghana Black Queens and some other updates we need to know on this one. We also speak about Mohamed Kudus. Yesterday, he was in action for West Ham United as they won four goals to two at home. The player he provided assists. He did everything possible to square a goal. The goal didn't come. One of his teammates has spoken about him and former Manchester United star. He has also spoken about the player. You check it out in this update. Jordan Pierre, are you? And some other updates in this one. Before then, if you've joined us, take your time and like the video for me. After liking, if you are new, subscribe to the channel. Put us some post notifications so that anytime we drop a latest update, you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Don't forget to leave a thought and comment in the comment box. I also try and bring you shout out. You know, of late, I've been somehow busy. That's why I'm unable to bring you shout out on this channel. But try and leave a comment in the comment box so that anytime I want to give shout out, I will also see yours in the comment box. Please share the videos for others to also enjoy it on this platform. Quickly, let's begin from here. Yesterday, Mohamed Kudus, as I said, he was in action for West Ham United. They won by four goals to two. Jaroboyin scored a hat-trick. Then we also had um, MSN Pamiri, who scored the fourth goal for, um, that is, West Ham United. Then the away side, they also got two goals for themselves. Kudus, he provided the third goal assist for Jaroboyin. It was a sumptuous cross. And Bowen also met it very well and made sure that he would score for his side. Joe Bowen, first of all, he says that Kudus yesterday, he was unlucky um, for him not to score a goal for his side. That was a bad, bad one for Kudus. Because yesterday, Kudus did everything possible. I told you, Kudus had five shots in the game. One on target and four off target. It tells you that Kudus yesterday, he was really, really um, you know, ready to score a goal for his side. But it didn't actually happen. So, according to Joe Bowen, it was just a bad luck or hard luck that Kudus... He didn't score for his side yesterday. Now, former Manchester United player, and now he's a coach. That is Gary Neville. He says that Mohamed Kudus, he has to be matured in taking some decisions on the field. Because in the first half, Kudus, there were some few instances that he was expecting him to actually give a pass to his teammates. But Kudus kept on shooting. And that, all those ones are a poor decision from Mohamed Kudus. According to Gary Neville, this is what he stated yesterday. Kudus has got something, but he needs to be a bit more mature in his final choices. Sometimes wingers can be unpre unpredictable, but they need to be unpredictable, not just to the opposition, but also to their own teammates. In the first half, he took one or two wild shots instead of making a final pass. That is what he said of Kudus. He also went on further um, to stress that Kudus' impact is a good one, but he has to improve on his decision making in the game and i did say in the first half that um the one thing david moyes could say at the halftime was for him to be a little bit more precise in what he was doing and that third goal came from him being more direct and putting in that lovely cross for jared Bowen, which was a big moment in the game so that is according to um you know gary never also praising kudos that yes kudos took a good decision in sending in that cross for jared Bowen to actually meet it and score the third goal for West Ham United in the game. What are your thoughts? Let me know it in the comments box. Now, let me move away from that and talk about State of the Nations address. It is very important to, um, to Ghanaians because um, on sports especially, uh, we are looking out for a lot. All Africa Games 2023 is happening in Ghana here. We have just nine days for the games to begin. As I said, I'm going to be a volunteer to make sure that the game will actually be a good one. A media volunteer, of course, and um, let's always support anything Ghana so that um, we will sell our country to the um, world. So, yes, the president was there to submit his State of the Nations. And before we check out the video, these are the highlights of what he actually said. One, he says that it is time to return to scouting, grooming, and developing talent at the district grassroots level under um, you know, the presidential policy on football and that he intends to unveil. Then, too, he also spoke about Andrea. He says that he believed that the captain for the Black Stars team, his apology, he meant every little word in there because it was um, you know, a sad performance from the Black Stars team in the last AFCON. Yes, he spoke about it saying that that's you know, the lowest stage that the Black Stars have come and all Ghanaians are saddened over that situation. He also um, continues to say that the senior women's team, that is the Black Queens, they are 
the only side who is performing so well, but we are not giving them even half attention of what we are giving the Black Stars team. And I think it's true. We are not giving them that attention like the Black Stars, but what they are doing is also amazing. So before we watch the video, let me also remind you, tomorrow, 4 p.m. in Zambia, Indola, is going to be the Zambian Copa Queens versus the Ghana Black Queens. Today, final training session will actually happen in Indola. They will also have, um, you know, pre-match conferences and all. We believe the girls can go there and turn it around. I know it's not going to be easy because we are already down one goal to now going into the second leg. But Black Queens, you can go there and do it. Let's show what we can do for everyone to see. So let's check out what the president has to say at the State of the Nations address. After that, we'll talk about Jordan Ayu and some more in this one. Yeah. Let me now turn to football, a, a sport that is dear to the hearts of all Ghanaians. I'm sure I disclose no state secret if I state that I am myself an ardent football enthusiast and once played in the University of Ghana team with my friend, the late President John Evans Atamills, Fifi to me. Throughout the years, the national team, the Black Stars, has held a special place in the affection of Ghanaians. They lifted up our spirits as they dominated Africa and won four continental trophies. They have at other times broken our hearts, but it was not until 2006 that the Black Stars finally broke through to the world stage when they qualified for the World Cup for the first time. You'll remember that we rose up as one in our support and they did not disappoint. Then came the spectacular South Africa 2010 World Cup and its drama when we almost became the first African side to reach the semi-finals of the World Cup. It is fair to say that since the sad events of Brazil 2014, many Ghanaians have been left disappointed by some of the recent results of the Black Stars. Their various attempts have have been made to revive the fortunes of the national team and rebuild the enthusiasm of the people with varying degrees of success. The recent AFCON in Côte d'Ivoire was probably the nadir of the performance of black stars and has left the nation saddened. However, I am quite certain that the young men and the technical hand handlers would themselves have wanted to make our nation proud. And I believe that the captain, Andre Dede Ayu, meant every word when he rendered heartfelt apologies on behalf of his teammates to all Ghanaians for the team's early exit. Mr. Speaker, I believe it is time for us to take a long-term, far-sighted approach to correct what has gone wrong. It is time to return to scouting, grooming, and developing talent at the grassroots level under a presidential policy on football that I intend to unveil very soon. The school sports department of the Ministry of Education will work hand in hand with the Ministry of Youth and Sports in collaboration and synergy with the Ghana Football Association to build district, regional, and national juvenile teams for both girls and boys. The more than 150 AstroTurf pitches constructed throughout the country under this administration provide the foundational facilities to make a start as we strive to provide more of them. We should see a steady progression of talent up the ladder from the junior juvenile teams to the senior size based on merit and nothing else. A, special, a similar approach has been tried before under the five-year football development plan led by the late Ben Kofi, initiated under the MPP administration of President J.A. Kufo. It was under this plan that talents such as Michael Asian, Suleim Muntari, John Mensah, Derek Boateng, and later Asamwajan and Stephen Apia were discovered and nurtured. The results became evident to us and the world. It takes time, dedication, and patience. We cannot harvest where we have not planted and irrigated. I have no doubt at all that the black stars will rise and make us proud again. Mr. Speaker, the senior women's team, the Black Queens, who do not get half the attention the Black Stars get, have been performing quite creditably. They have gone for 10 months without any loss until last December, and then when they lost narrowly to Namibia in the qualifying ground for the 2024 
Women's African Cup of Nations. Even though they lost narrowly to Zambia in the first leg of the qualifiers for the 2024 Olympic Games, let us wish them well in the second leg to be played in Lusaka tomorrow. I hope they give us something to cheer about. Mr. Speaker, it gives me great pleasure to report that all the preparations are ready for Ghana to welcome sportsmen and women from around the continent to participate in the 13th edition of the African Games. It seems incredible, but this is the first time that Ghana will be hosting these games. It has taken a lot of courage to have persisted with the decision to host the games, especially when our financial problem came in the midst of the preparations. But I am glad we went ahead. The preparations are all complete. And I was excited and very pleased with what I saw at Bortima when I went to commission the Games Village some two weeks ago. We have high-class sporting facilities which will serve us well long after the Games are over. Some of the events will take place at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. It is worth noting that this is a facility started under former President J.A. Kufo and was abandoned by successor governments. I'm extremely proud that this project has been finished under my stewardship, not just because of the games, but also because it has taken 75 years of existence for Legon, Ghana's premier university, to have a sports stadium. I urge all Ghanaians to make our visitors welcome and to patronize the games and cheer on the participants. Yes, yeah, so that is it for you on your screens. Now, finally, let's talk about Jordan Pierre Ayu. Yes, the player, he's also doing well for his side. Crystal Palace in the EPL. So far, the player, he has already had 200 appearances for his side. And that is a good one for Jordan Pierre Ayu. 183 Premier League games. Yes, he's done a lot of scoring goals, uh, you know, doing everything possible, dribbling and, um, you know, being put down, fighting players a whole lot. 183 Premier League appearances for Crystal Palace already, and eight FA Cup games, then nine Carabao Cup games. It's also that, yes, it is good. 200 games for his side. Um, then we also have um, 23 goals scored from him, then 21 assists in all competitions. So that is a good one for the player. So, so far, 200 games, 23 goals, 21 assists, contributing in some 44 goals for Crystal Palace so far since he joined them in the English Premier League. So, guys, let me know your thoughts. What do you make of them? On one, Mohamed Kudus, hot former Manchester United um, player, and now he's a pundit or a coach. And the coaching th things didn't actually go on well for him, but he's a pundit. You know, he's doing so well on that side, but for the field, he went to Valencia, he was stuck in a whole lot of issues. Then, you also let me know your thoughts on Jordan Ayu and State of the Nation's address. What the president has to say, what do you make of them? Let me know it in the comment box. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This is Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later. It is the African Games. Of course, Ghana is ready. African Games 2023. Of course, it's going to be fun, interesting, and exciting. It is the 13th African Games. Of course, because we're broken. The African Games. Of course, 54 countries are coming to Ghana. It is the African Games, of course, 29 discipline. Let's go! It is the African Games, of course, the world is watching us. It is the African Games, of course, Accordia is a mascot. It is the African Games, of course, we will experience the African dream. We are strong and beautiful, rich in every way. From the east to the west, north to the south, all around this beautiful land.